hard to explain. <laughs> this looks like a Ouija board to me. A day seance. A seance, huh? No, is this, is this a, a new paradigm seance? Yeah, I don't know. Here, this is good. So what do you get so far, sir? We got, we seriously are open to your advice. And then we said, who? And then it said, the board owls. <laughs> who are the board owls? <laughs> <laughs> the board owls are obviously fictional theatrical characters who are looking to come into being through being given a script. <laughs> I think so, too. <laughs> uh, there's consensus here. Can you give us an example? Hmm? Can you give us an example? I don't have a... I've never done it before. Okay, so you're a virgin uh, board owl. I'm a virgin board owl, yeah. Okay. And you? Have you done this before? Oh, yes. I've done this many times before. Okay. I'm a natural. Okay. <laughs> I've never done it before. Yeah, well, you want to do it? It's okay, uh, come on. Three-way, huh? You what, do we, what do we you have? You're my place. No, 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 no. No, you do it at the same time. It's a three-way thing now. You don't get off that easy. <laughs> The main thing, well, see now, can you reach everywhere, Peter? Because that affects it. If you can't reach, then you can't go over there. Oh, did we get anything? O U J. We didn't get anything. Oh, did we? Or O U J. No. Okay. <laughs> I feel assistance. Bye. Bye. Mina? Okay. Are you ready? Yeah? Uh, M. <laughs> okay, may I have a tape? <coughs> Interrupt the spiritual process for, for a, a very... I-A-K. It's B-Y-M-A-K. Do you have a scotch tape or something? Yeah, what do you need? Scotch tape. Um, I have a big one. Cool. I don't know, I think Peter's cheating. It's a drum. It's an it's an it's some bar, it's some bar, snarl, it's by candy star. Oh, what's how they kill me, why, bitch, shut the ball. Oh, what's how they kill me, why, bitch, shut the ball, you're a sleeper, it's a bar. It's a bar, 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 it's a you gotta combine that with a rhythmical experience, you know? Yeah. This is the crowd that's spit you out of the visuals what do you think comes in into its place? What's what I think comes, in, comes in its place is the system of self-sustaining communities of people uh, who basically take care of themselves and who don't wait for anybody else to create welfare for them. And then, uh, on this base, they, whenever they need and they can, they join into virtual communities. What do you mean by virtual communities? Like computer? Like yes. Like uh, when we like want virtual to virtual reality. Yeah, if you read Steve Roberts, right? Steve Roberts, is a nomadic uh, bike writer mm -hmm. guy, and he talks about his community of six thousand people, where he d exists online, and wherever he wants. You know, it's like he he doesn't have yeah, to that's be attached to a place we because his community is everywhere. We will have. A 20% of the population, they, they are in these uh, industrial mega plants, uh, which we call today metropolis, and they will, they will uh, continue to exist. But 80% of the population are idle from this point of view. It takes few and few people to, to, to produce all the industrial goods that are consumed on this planet. So, uh, right, and because of that, 80% of the world's population have to change their ways of life completely. They have to switch off, uh, to, uh, get Having out of the labor economy. production jobs. <laughs> yes. I mean, they, they, they have to... They have to uh, Provide services. They have to do art. They have to exist with another content They have to time. exist on the base of a flourishing local environment that supports them. Yeah. And... And... Uh, I love advertising create a directory of people who all want to uh, or benefit by networking with each other, you know, so, so that um, they're a community who uh, all do the same kind of work. What about a directory of computers?
computer aided gardeners. Yeah, there you go. If everybody shares their computer aided gardeners, I love it. And okay, <laughs> I, need, I, need, I need that energy to feed myself and feed my That's family. right, I need to feed myself. All right, they could come for three months, too, so we need a house. <laughs> yeah, I need to keep, I need to pay the landlord. That's right. These evil landlords. These evil landlords who don't <laughs> care anything about the people who are giving them all their money. <laughs> <laughs> and what do they get out of that place? Take it in there, <laughs> stick it in their pocket and live it up. That's uh, right. Yeah, son, That's what do you think of rent, it. son? That's an idea. Rent? Rent is a I means for transferring should, wealth among people. They should all don't, give the land uh, back to the Indians. Have enough to uh, live off the interest of their investments. <laughs> when I was young, I I wrote a, I wrote a thing. Nobody should be allowed to live from the uh, you know from the money they collect from interest. I say now you just yeah you believe that here, huh? interest? Are you living off interest now? You're living off well, rent, right? Yeah. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> See, that's why I have this big conflict. Maybe that's the source of my disease. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, ultimately, <laughs> people... I, I'm getting close to becoming these people who I always uh, used to crusade against. You see? Ah, <laughs> ah. What do you think it means? <laughs> <laughs> you are they. <laughs> yeah. Good thing I die before I become a rich man. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, are you oh. sure it's not too late? I don't know, Peter. You're gonna have to spend a lot of I money if you don't want to be rich when you die. <laughs> I, the tenants don't pay that much. The rent. I would make more money if I sell the damn thing and put it in a bank account. Oh yeah, interest, yeah, and yeah, then you'd yeah. live off the interest. Well, there you yeah. go. <laughs> that's why I don't <laughs> sell it. That's why I don't See, sell it. See, people, enough people have transferred their wealth to you, Peter, so that you no, can now no, live no, off the simple. interest. It's simple. No, no, no. It's it's simple. It's it's simple. Uh, it was working. Sure, you're safe. I worked. I worked. I worked. I worked hard. I worked seven days a week. There you go. No, no, no. I don't want and to reaping that reward. Yeah. Well, the only thing is my may die before it's happening. <laughs> well, don't worry about it. You probably I mean, I I really I really <laughs> I'm really almost poverty level with my income, but uh, I don't have to pay rent, you know. Yeah. I mean, I I I may be a little bit above poverty level, but okay. you know, if I would have had a family of four. Yeah. I'd be somewhere on the poverty level. Well, and you would have done it different if my you had income, a family of you know, four. But then I don't have to pay rent. Yeah. So, well, that to me, that's the crucial thing. If you got, if you got a situation where you don't have to pay rent, mm -hmm. and you have a little bit coming in to pay for, you know, basically yeah, what you bit. want, yeah, to eat, you want, your power, right. your phone, your trips, your yeah, stuff, yeah, muffin, whatever. Good life right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's it. Right. So we should figure out a way to just provide. Well, how much does it cost to see the sun? Look, I mean, you know, how that's much? Right. I mean, oh, I realized, I realized my life. call r lasts another shape. 10 years. I don't know, everything I have lasts probably longer than I last. Who knows? <laughs> really? I so have enough clothes. I never have to buy clothes from here to eternity. I don't, I don't have, I don't need anything for yeah. status because, you know, I'm nobody, right? I mean, I don't need status accoutrements. This is know. my friend, Peter Nobody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the landlord. <laughs> the landlord. <laughs> I, mean, I don't have to impress anybody, you know. You, know, you don't realize how much, of you, how, much, how, much, how much of your income is wasted on stuff you buy to impress others. Oh, I realize that. I mean, it's a <laughs> You know, your all clothes, my income practically your like clothes, no, I actually all budget your ideology and all this, like, you know, like it's all in presence, presence, right? I love to I mean, give actually, people little actually, presents. When you, when, yeah, yeah, so, the, like, yeah, like, money gets spent you know, on that. Like, That's why I think people are the expensive part of your life, not you yourself. You know, everybody, if everybody, if everybody would be truly themselves, mm -hmm. I think life would be much no, simpler. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think people are well, prefer to be falsely themselves, and so life no, is more they, complicated? No, they, they, they become false to impress other people, ah. which they perceive what these other people not are not, and the other people again think they got to impress those people, and they both playing this game, hoax. you know, like you know, 
Mr. So-and-so and Mr. So-and-so. Out, meanwhile, yeah. meanwhile, meanwhile, the one guy says, you know, I hate this fucking stuffy guy. I wish I wish I could just say, hey, Joe, you know, and slap him on the back. But he, And he says, well, but you wouldn't like that, you know. And the other guy says the same thing. I says, you know, so they, nobody goes over this edge. They all, all play the culture, you know. Oh, he wants this and he wants that and he admires this and that. Even though they all do it, they all deceiving themselves and each other. You see? Yeah, do you think it's against their will or do you think it's out of ignorance no, it's, or unconsciousness? It's, it's part or? because they all brainwashed. Half of them believes it. You yeah. See? Well, you know what I so mean? Like I go to this parking lot and I said, I got this fancy potato there and I said, God, you know, you only can go 55 miles an hour. I says, look at all the women you could get if you have a car like that. And I said, you know, who wants a woman who would, you could get because you have a car like that? But the woman probably thinks the same thing, you know. See what I mean? Well, if I she looked has on any television brains. and I figured there's a whole microculture out there that I'm not a part of that operates very differently than I do. And uh, I figured but they're, they're, they're people too. They're like my sisters or they're, you know, the people that I meet in the store or on the street. Sure, but they put a lot of energy. Everybody is different, but everybody is also the same. They put a lot of energy into that. If you can connect that. on the they grounds that you have in common, then... Uh, transcendence is possible because people <laughs> people were monkeys like we imitate each other you know once once you understand why somebody is the way they are you know you you might be more like them or maybe they'll be more like you if you're you know if they think you're cooler than they are once they see you so what does you it know? like for see, the monkeys it, to imitate it gets, you if it gets you know like <laughs> i'm cooler than you or i'm more more uh, uh, this and that. Then it gets, becomes in a competitive ego game. No, 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 not See, from that place. That's whether you introduce that and, energy and or not. But this is much more just organic, just the way people are. Yeah, is you know, they, as they are, they're learning it's totally all the time. mixed up, you know, like culture and nature and, and transcendent. It's all mixed up, you know, there's so many levels. They constantly interpenetrate and it's all like, you know, like. From the highest to the lowest in one split second, and you know, like uh, academically, you would take about ten lifetimes to figure it all out. You know? <laughs> oh yeah! yeah. So yeah. you're gonna do college in ten lifetimes? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I just idea. had a great idea. <laughs> Why don't you create an association of social responsible landowners of America who are aware of the fact that the land they own. Uh, instead of uh, being exploited in a merely capitalist way like uh, wineries and vineyards and Mexican workers would rather be able to sustain itself with the help of incoming population. So what you said, Sam, about... Again, again, what you forget, what you forget, one, one, one factor that uh, a lot of these people pay off uh, uh, loans, you know, which again, uh, you know, generate interest for other people. It's just the middleman. You know, wait, wait, wait. You see all these forests down here. Yeah. I mean, what do they actually economically create oh. in terms of income? Uh, they sit around yeah. idle. <laughs> yeah, they sit around idle. They could be partly cultivated, and could be the living ground of people who move in here. Uh, as you said, son, helping somebody cultivate their property. Yeah. You could take that approach and say, hey, this is the land where individuals own the, uh, own the land. In right. fact, they fence it, but then they sit, the, the land is, is, is for a European Excuse eye. Mm -hmm. For a European eye, the land is dramatically neglected. Yeah. And, uh, I wonder if this was a solution to this particular situation that some people would join together and say okay we want to find a way to make our land accessible and still not lose our uh, uh, rights as, a, as the owner of the land. Yeah. I mean it doesn't necessarily have to do with <laughs> renting, it could be a, a still a mutual agreement with just improving the land. Yeah, right, right. So, uh, and uh, that's a way, I, 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 all the time I try to figure out ways uh, in which positive social change that's could happen. That's how we started out. That's how right? we started out um, when, when we bought this land. You know, we, we want to visualize this place and make it oh, better, better and everybody who comes here can help make it better. Thing. Yeah. 
you have to go over there. Yeah, now I have to do. Now what I mean, Arcosanti is a real good example for that thing. You have this, uh, excuse my language, uh, genius. Um, um, uh, no, 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 no. Just I want to say it. Rousseau. Oh, I want still to use a, a friendly term. Uh, uh, <laughs> the lawmaker. Lawmaker. The lawmaker personality. Dominant dictator. Alpha male. Alpha male is what we call him. Yes. But still, he has created a place. Somebody could uh, set up the yes. order parameters for a place like a feudal a feudal parameter landlord yes well, uh, but can he transfer his feudal vision onto a population of people who just want to be peers with each other and don't want to have to have one person be in charge yeah, <laughs> how, how long yeah. see the, the, the problem we'll sometimes is that the people with the least uh, skill have the biggest mouths and, and 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 some you know make the most trouble and you know that's money. Skill. that's part it's of their skill big mouth you know, having a big mouth is a skill so you're a landowner yeah and i got a big mouth so. <laughs> use it <laughs> use it attract brains oh god no, really, I, mean, I went I to one party and i said let's like give people into it just with the purpose of improving your life. Oh, I, I went... along with your plans, just tell them go out. I you keep control. Go to the next hill. I went to... Well, once you get, you get involved with people, it's not so easy to, to kick them out again. This is a big problem. Well, actually, I think you have to choose your involvements very carefully because I think you have to have you the have concept of lifetime relationships There's while you build things. You know? There's so many ways. You uh, just have uh, I'm going to stay and then I'm going to go. It doesn't work as well. There's so many people who play games. You know, like in, in terms of uh, uh, you know in a, in a in a in a new age. You know, they they have these big ideas and you know I had one guy he rented from me and he says, well, why don't we just uh, burn it? Huh? Is that got hair in it? Head. Yeah. Yeah. Throw it on the on the grass the hair? Yeah. I think so then it gets blown around and it eventually becomes dirt you know <laughs> <laughs> you're about See, to you're leaving your vibes now on this land we heard about the maid of Elvis Presley who collected his pubic hairs out of the drain did you ever get frames they put a black here the hair of brown is buried on done. this plane if I had a compost pile which I haven't started <clears> yet I would just this hair plant a seed you get a light it comes part of the pilgrimage. Like it comes part of the pilgrimage thing. You become a great and light soul. And this place, you know, people will then go and will become right. powers. But you only come. You only uh, get your hair cut at certain spots. <laughs> really? I think that's a nice idea. It's like, oh, I come out to nature. I clip my fingernails so I can be part of it all. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Yeah, you have some pretty fancy hair cutting tools there. I would love to get some things like that. Where? <laughs> Where? Did that you always travel with all that normal? stuff? Just made in Hong Kong. <laughs> yeah. Easy trim. Easy trim. All right. Well, thanks for coming. You're very welcome. Thanks, thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah, thank you for you. making us feel at home. Oh. And hope to see you and to have you in Vienna. Yeah, thanks for being in our movies. Yeah. See you soon. Yeah. Uh, unless... Uh, Style. Oh yeah. Uh, sure. I'm um, good. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> Is that some kind of voice command thing or what? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> voice command. Yeah. Lincoln Town Car. Lincoln Town. I didn't Lincoln take a picture of the Lincoln Town Car. Oh, well, I got it. Come on, so come over here, Coles. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hey you guys, the American. Uh, yeah. Love you. It was great to see you. It was really I'm fun. I'm so glad to see you, and I'm very happy to have you. Me too. Take care of yourself. Me too. And with a good effort, we will be in Vienna. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. With good effort, okay. <laughs> stay with good effort. <laughs> stay on the main road going down. You know, watch out for Hope Lane. Okay. <laughs> 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 Lincoln Town Car. No license plate, you notice? Know
Oh, incognito. No license. Hey, that's a diplomatic military oh, vehicle. Yeah.